There's a video that I found, you know, and um, I, it was a video that I found. We was out there, me and a brother I know, doing the Lord's work, and um, the clown Bakwash, <laughs> he uh, he walks up to us, you know, very very conniving spirit, you know, offering water. Talking about the elders, you know, slandering the elders, calling them rapists and saying this and that. And, you know, we went into the scriptures and we was, you know, proving it to them. We, we cutting them up through the spirit of Yah Bashim Yah Shai. And, you know, you could, fee, you could see he was, he was deflecting certain questions and, you know, he was, he was afraid. He, he, he wasn't ready. Um, he didn't bring out no scriptures the whole time, you know, he didn't bring out not one single scripture out and you're going to hear him up in here. Cause you know, um, I was, I used to hold camp across the street and I remember the first time he pulled up on me, I was by myself at the time. You know, I had a couple of brothers that was holding camp with me, and um, you know, they all took their hand off the plow, and um, he pulled up. You know, and at that time he was all trying to be cool. You know, it seemed seemed like he was all right guy. You know, and um, I remember that day it was brick cold outside. It was during the winter. It was very cold. I mean, brick. I mean, very cold. It had to be at least like, sheesh, maybe like 15, 20 degrees, wind blowing. I mean, it was brick out there, man, brick, super brick cold. And um, <clears throat> I remember he made a statement. He said, um, he made a statement and he said, uh, I, I can't come out here in this cold. I don't know how you do it, brother. All right. Hey, first and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone, of whom I learn from daily, you know, just like this video right here, okay? And the brothers all the way on down the line, man, all of them, you see? And a healthy shot of warmth to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Like the brother you just saw, you know, like the brothers you just saw right there, you know, in, in a stark contrast unto uh, the dude that they're uh, th they're talking about. What's, uh, uh, what's his name? Bakwash? Yeah, Bakwash. OK, he's the guy that had, uh, you know, the potato chip making fun of a uh, 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 chip. He had the potato chip, chip uh, you know, on his uh, right hand or whatnot, you know, smiling, uh, proudly smiling, smirking. You know, making fun of uh, you know, of 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 uh, the chip, when 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 <laughs> when really, you know, hey, that that thing's coming down the pipeline, you know. And, and again, I just got off of Apostle Gabar's uh video, and he was going into it, and the spirit has it where, uh, you know, a lot of brothers have been going into that dude, man. He's, he's being lukewarm, okay. And a lot of things got me about this video. It's an excellent video done by the uh, brother Saints of Jersey, you know, and, you know, and, uh, and the brother Inar. All right. Very diligent brothers, man. Very, very diligent brothers through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's all over them, brothers, man. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, let's go here. <laughs> let's read a couple of scriptures. Probably won't be long. But it was an excellent video, and you know, and the uh, apostle Gabar just did a video about uh, about this, about those those brothers, and about uh, what's it, Quadash, but uh, Bakwash, Salakia. Okay, let's read here. You heard what he said. You know, he's uh, you know uh, the, uh, the brother Saints of Jersey was by himself, and then he said it was brick cold, man. You know, and if you know anything about what brick cold is, that's cold. Uh, that's cold. He up there in Jersey, it gets cold. Okay. All right. And, uh, and, uh, and the dude, uh, Bakwash, what did he say? I don't, I don't see how you do it, man. Yeah, you know, it's too cold out here for me. 
You know, he's out what, running errands and doing his business, but you can't teach the word. What does scripture say? Second Timothy four, verse two. Preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. See that? It says and doctrine. And it's the 100% truth. You can see it coming down the pipeline, man. All right. The uh, M-O-T to the B. It's that. You know what it is. Huh? You know what it is. Be instant in season, out of season. See, he's, he's lukewarm. He, uh, he doesn't know the state of his flock. You know, he has no idea. He, le he, he just left. And like the brother said, he was deflecting and saying all kinds of things coming up against the apostles. It's, it's madness, man. For the time, verse three, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. You see? You see that right there? These scriptures are infallible. They're absolutely perfect. Verse four, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. All right. You see the, the brother, uh, uh, you know what? I may play more of that clip because the brother, I know I asked him, he asked him about the chip. He said, well, what do you, what do you feel about the chip or something like that? What do you think about the chip? And he deflected. He deflected. He really didn't answer the question, <laughs> but it's very priceless. It's priceless how the brothers looked at each other after what he said. It was it was, it was priceless. <laughs> Woo! As a matter of fact, hey, please excuse my voice. <coughs> it's still a little messed up from camp, but you know. <laughs> matter of fact, check this out right here. Okay, it's my other channel, Gospel of Good News. I don't know what I, you know, whatever. Damn me, I ain't nobody. Our righteousness is at filthy rags, but uh, uh, <laughs> on Apostle Gabar's comment, uh, uh, comment board here, I uh, put Elder Apostle when he said GMS is not out there like that. All right, because the dude uh, Quadash said that he said GMS is not out there like that anymore. They're not out there like that. <laughs> really, I uh, put uh, the way the brothers looked at each other. It was priceless because they looked at each other like. How they looked at each other like, how on earth is this dude shape his mouth to say something like that? You know, <laughs> and the apostle said that dude is out of touch, brother. <laughs> I got to give some thumbs up on that because that's damn right. OK, <laughs> unbelievable. Wow. Let's go back to the scriptures. Revelation three and verse 15. I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot. See, you can't have one foot in and one foot out. You heard what he, you heard what the, uh, what, what the brother said. He said, uh, um, you know, I can't do it. It's too cold. I can't do that. You can't do it for your How about shimmy out shot? He told you to be instant in season out of season. Okay. So, yeah, I understand. Sometimes it gets real cold. You know, uh, where I'm at, you, you know, hey, it gets brick cold here. I'm talking like zero negatives. But you can go out, you know, as long as you can. I had to cut a couple camps short because it was, you know, I, I couldn't feel my fingers. <laughs> I just, you know, it is what it is, right? But you can go out, man, and just, just teach the word. Verse 16. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. And see, that's really a scary thing. The fear of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahashai, is the beginning of wisdom. And if he truly had fear for the Lord, he'd go out in the cold. <laughs> you know, he'd go out in the brick cold. Like the brother said, this is Romans 14, verse 5. One man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. You see, let him be fully persuaded persuaded in his own mind verse six he that uh that regardeth the day regardeth it into the lord okay and and, and it's like you and he that regardeth not the day to the lord he doth not uh, uh, re, uh regard it see that he that eateth 
eateth the eateth to the Lord, for he giveth the Most High thanks. You see, and he that uh, that eateth not to the Lord, he eateth not and giveth the Most High thanks. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, that's all I wanted out of that. Let's let's go back and read the, the scripture again. Romans fourteen verse five: One man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteemeth every day alike. See that? Edifying daily. This dude totally just left the sheep. What happens when you don't feed your sheep? They die. They had to go find somewhere else to live. You see that? Hmm. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind, man. You got to be fully persuaded. Make full. Let's see. Slock you. Yeah, there we go. Make foolproof of thy ministry, right? Let's see if I wanted to go back here. Because this is total impromptu. Yep. Yep, I should have just kept on reading down. That's okay. That's, a, that's all right. You know, it's just the way it, it happened today. Verse 5. <coughs> Salakia. My voice is all messed up. 2 Timothy 4 and verse 5. But, but watch thou in all things. Endure afflictions. Do the work. Of an evangelist make full proof of thy ministry see that make full proof of thy ministry now I want to take I want to take you back here let me see if I can find it so I'm gonna I'm stop the video and come back when I find the way the brothers look at each other when he said uh, GMS is not out there like that hey man look listen GMS and I, yeah and I follow GMS straight up okay because they got the 100% truth and I learn from them daily. You see? The scripture talks about uh, uh, be assured of who you learn these things from. All right? It's GMS all over the place. Okay? Now, like uh, Apostle Gabar was saying, you know, uh, Nate, Bishop, uh, what's it? Oh, yeah, Bishop Nate? Something like that. Uh, whatever his, he calls himself. Okay? Now, he, uh, he had to go directly to Africa. To get his, uh, uh, you know, camps started or his ministry started. Apostle Tahar didn't have to do that. Okay. The scripture said their line went out to the four corners of the earth, man. The, the, of which we call the internet scripture, right? It's, there's camps all over the place. Mexico. You see? Uh, Canada. You know, all over Babylon. You know, uh, uh, places in Africa. Australia. Man, there's uh, 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 Italy, you know, all kinds of the uh, uh, Virgin Islands, Straight Gate, uh, he down there in the Virgin Islands, all right, and, and uh, uh, Hawaii, you know, so, there's so many more, there's so many more, right, okay, you even got uh, a, a GMS brother that's deaf, that's teaching in Braille, uh, not Braille, Salakia, in uh, uh, sign language, you see that? You can't teach in Braille. Look, listen at me. <laughs> Call law, you how about shit me outside? I said he's teaching in Braille, and that's funny. I reminds me uh, of the movie. Uh, what was that? Uh, uh, with Denzel, where he was he was blind, but uh, but he had the Bible and it was in Braille and, he, and it was in his forehead. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, he's teaching in sign language, man. A deaf brother, man. See, if the spirit's on you, it's on you. If it's in you, it's going to come out, and you can't stop it. And why would you want to? This is, uh, uh, he said, he said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Let's get that. And then I'll take you to the clip where they looked at just they literally just like, what did he just say? <laughs> okay. Talks about out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Here it is right here. Okay. Yeah, yep. John 7 and verse 38. He that believeth on me as the scripture hath said. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. See that? Rivers of living water, man. Hey, these brothers right here. That's what that means. You see? On fire, man. And staying on fire, all right? Check this out. Uh, I, I can't come out here in this cold. I don't know how you do it, brother. But me, no, I can't do it. I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather, you know, he said, I just can't do it. 
and say, I know how, he says some, some of those, in, in those words, he says something like that. And he was like, um, I don't know how you do it. And I told him to the spirit, like, hey, man, we got to come out here in season, out of season, man. You know what I'm saying? To do the Lord's work, man. If it's not a hurricane or, an, or a tornado or a snowstorm, you know, and you, you're you able and you're, you know, you can walk, you have a mouthpiece, you know, hey, through the spirit of Yahweh, about shimmy out shot in season, out of season. I got a lot of questions. Come back to your regular question. I'm going to bounce out. Hey. You, you ain't just come to say shalom today. Yes, I did. The brother said I was a fool because I was bringing the Bible. And that's him right there. You know. Well, when I was across the street. Over there in the cold weather. We was out there in the cold weather when he said out of his own mouth, Oh, I don't come out to preach in the cold. It's too brick for me. He didn't want to deal with me anymore. You want to go back into your teaching. He said, GMS is not in the scene. And this guy right here in the red, he's a clown. He's a he's an all time scoffer for for years. He's a Muslim cat. You know, he's been rebuked so many times. But back on Bakwash, you know, we try to I had some question too. I said, Do you know the story of little Benjamin? Why Benjamin was called Little Benjamin and um he had no idea. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because a lot of these men that scoff and slander, they don't have the 100% truth. You know what I'm saying? Now, our elders through the Spirit, those are those great men. Based on Jeremiah chapter 5, you know, that the Lord has chosen in these last days to actually have the 100% truth. And, you know, through the Spirit, we believe that, man. And it's been proven it's been proven over and over, man, through the spirit. And, and, you know, at the end of the day, man, a lot of these men, they just have a lot of jealousy and hatred towards Great Millstone. But that's the house of Saul. And this dude, Pagwash, man, he's nowhere around, man. He's not doing the work. This dude's the house of Saul. It's not on the, on the scene like they used to be. 10 or 10 or 15 years ago. Them dudes is done. Everybody jumped and smashed it, man. Where you playing? Super garage, man. He's nowhere around, man. He's not doing the work. This dude's a house of Saul. It's not on the, on the scene like they used to be 10 or 10 or 15 years ago. Them dudes is done. Everybody jumped and smashed Yo, it, man. Where you, where you, where you been at? <laughs> Yo, are you serious? Get on vacation. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Done. Yo, yeah. GMX is worldwide, brother. That's, that was, you know, we're doing, that was. <laughs> now that's what I was talking about, right? That was priceless, man. Absolutely. See the way the brothers look at each other like, what? You know, and, and then the brother say, what'd he say? <clears throat> he said, man, GMS is, uh, is all over the four corners of the earth. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. <clears throat> that Yeah, that got me, man. And that's a good brother right there, man. I, I mean, you know, that's a good brother, man. I just got to say that. Proverbs 6 and verse 6. Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her uh, her ways and be saved. Why? What do ants do? All right. They do exactly what they're supposed to. They work and they're in order. Okay. They work and they're in order. They are highly efficient creatures, man. Creeping things, man. Highly efficient creeping things. And they do things in order the right way. You see that? <laughs> he said, GMS, not, they through. They done. They're not out there. Like, what are you saying? Oh, boy. Proverbs 27, verse 23. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks 
and look well to thy herds. You see that? Look well to thy herds. Okay? Now, uh, you know, from what I understand, that dude, uh, 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 Bakwash, he, uh, you know, he had, you know, thousands of followers, thousands of subscribers. You know, and like the brother said, man, that's the house of Saul right there. Man. He, if it was in him, it was going to come out. All right? He just, he fell out of the truth, man. He took his hands off the plow. You know, not to mention, I don't think I've ever seen a video of him out there on the highways and byways bidding them to the marriage. So let's read this again. You see? <clears throat> Proverbs 27, verse 23. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks and look well to thy herds, man. You see? Be diligent. 2 Peter 1, verse 10. Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do, if, for if you do these things, ye shall never Fail. You see that? Ye shall never fail. Salakia. Salakia. I have to get in touch with the brother here in a minute. I'll finish this up. All right? Ecclesiasticus 43 and verse 30. When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can. But what did he say? Oh, I'm not. It's too cold for me. All right. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye uh, uh, ex exalt him, put forth all your strength, all your strength and be not weary for ye can never go far enough. You see that? But ye can never go far enough. The way those brothers looked at each other was absolutely priceless, man. <laughs> absolutely priceless. All right. First Corinthians one of verse 21 for after that in the in the wisdom Salakia. Look, Apostle Ram Lam live. Beautiful. All right. For after that, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High is pleased. All right. The Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. You see, you see, to save them that believe. You know, and if you don't know the state of your flock, you don't believe you truly are not in this, uh, you know, uh, for uh, the pure doctor in the right way. But you want to make fun and you want you want to you want to poke fun at a uh, 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 with a potato chip uh, taped to your right hand. See that? The Lord's going to destroy you niggas, man. Matthew 22 and verse 9, red letters, Yahweh Shai speaking. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid them to the marriage. See that? Where's, where are they at right there? They in the highways, right? No matter if they scoffers or whatnot, bid them to the marriage. 10 years ago, does, no, does that right now. Now. You see? <laughs> yeah, that was priceless the way the brothers look at each other. Anyway. You know, hey, that's all I have on that. I probably made it longer than what I was expecting to, but, you know, hey, we don't have any free will. We shouldn't be expecting anything but the truth. So let's do it like this. DTA, Kwame Asherala, Wa Abai Baba. Boom! Shalom.